Hey guys, it's Leland Baptist. In today's video, we're gonna talk about 90% financing. All right, like legit, 90% financing. So I know you're thinking it immediately. A lot of you guys are like, oh my goodness, this is 2008, blah, 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 blah. And technically, no, it's not 2008. I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how, if you know what you're doing, if you understand commercial finance, if you understand real estate investing, you understand business finance, deal structuring, all that good stuff. You know what? If you don't understand it, allow me to break it down to you. You ready? It's gonna be really... A lot of banks right now, um, banks make money by lending money. Now, the issue is, as interest rates continue to rise, we're gonna have less people that actually either want to borrow money or that basically can't afford to borrow money. So on the investment basis for real estate investors, now is the best time to utilize some of that financing. And here's how this, how this will look. There are certain lenders that we're connected with that are allowing ourselves and our investors to do what's considered a 90% loan to value or a 90% CLTV. Now, a 90% a 90 CLTV allows you as an investor to structure it a way in which the only equity out of your pocket will be the 10% to actually purchase the building or the business. I'm going to break this down for you because I'm about to give you guys something that uh, you would you know, typically need like a Harvard MBA to understand. This is like acquisitions right here, okay? This is like very, very valuable. So I need you to take this very, very seriously, take notes, and then implement. A typical bank loan, an investment bank, is going to require what's called a 70% LTV or loan to value. So in a small number, if... A building called if the building is, has a value, it's worth a hundred grand. Then the investment bank or the uh, the lender is only going to lend you seventy percent of that hundred grand. All right, so far we're good there, right? So that would mean that it would be a total of seventy thousand dollars. Now, for us deal makers, what that means immediately is like, oh my goodness, it's only 70% down, therefore we have to come up with 30% of a down payment, right? So 70% loan, therefore the other percent that's left is 30%, right? Because, you know, 100% minus 70% equals 30%. So that means that the down payment will now be $30,000, okay? That's 30% of 100 grand. But, in certain instances, if you structure the deal properly, you can actually only do 10%, or in this case, 